Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys back in the old garage because it's winter and it's wet out there and cold. Yeah. Let's do something in the comfort of indoors. I really like the videos where we learn how something works in slow-mo. Usually something you just completely take for granted. Yeah, take for granted is exactly right because I didn't know how a tranquilizer dart worked. This is a tranquilizer dart. There's a lot more that goes into it than you think. It's kind of a flying syringe that manages to use pressure to inject into the animal. Yeah. I'm kind of glad I didn't know about this at school because if I did, anytime someone would kick the back of my chair, I'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dan, my first misconception is that there was a hole in the end of the needle, but that's not where it is, is it? Absolutely not. The end is actually just blocked up and there is a teeny little hole there at the front. Can you see that? Yeah. That is where our juice will come out of, our <laughs> drugs, our tranquilizer or whatever it is. And the way that you stop that from just coming out straight away is with this little rubber stopper. And that will go directly over the hole to cover it up like so. So we've got our needle. This is where we put our um, solution or our tranquilizer drugs or whatever it is that needs to be administered, medicine, whatever. Then this here is an air pressure chamber. And that is how we get the pressure to inject the liquids into the animal. Because what's gonna happen is, this needle will pierce the skin of the animal, and then this rubber part won't be able to go through the skin after the needle. So it will get pushed back along the needle, revealing said hole, and then the air pressure at the back will be able to exert itself, forcing out the liquid down through the needle and out the hole. So what drug have you opted for here? We've gone for red food colouring actually. Okay, yeah. So important. Got a sort of standard syringe here. If you're actually using real drugs, you would use a medical syringe and like pop it into one of those bottles. You know, you get those bottles and then yeah, pull it out. And then we can put our drugs and fill the syringe. We'll put our needle on here and we can pull off this part here. We've got a safety cap so we don't prick ourselves. So this part here, this little grey thing you might be able to see in the air chamber at the back. Yeah. moves around freely when there's no pressure in there. What we're going to do is pressurise this rear chamber. We're going to get our syringe again, just fill it full of air, shove it in, and then pressurise this rear part here. We're going to put about 7 mil of pressure in, 7, seven cc's of air. So now, you see the grey thing isn't moving because there's a lot of air pressure back up here and that is forcing the grey thing against the edge here which is not, not allowing any air past. It's called a non-return valve. So it allows the air in, and not out. Last thing is to add the sort of quill thing at the back. I can't remember the technical term for it. Looks like a, a troll doll head. It does, that's exactly what it looks like. And this is gonna make, mean that uh, when we're blowing on the back of the, the dart, it's gonna cause obturation and allow that air pressure to build up behind it. And fire so you it don't out. just blow around so just the <laughs> dart. Yeah. yeah, it's a fully ready and loaded tranquilizer dart. Okay, so here we are, this is the animal area. This piece of faux leather represents the, the hide of the creature. Is it called the hide if the animal's not dead? Uh, I don't know, actually. Living, just skin, okay, <laughs> maybe. You've got a thick hide. I think it's a hide, Okay. depending on what it is. So the light's on the back and we're aiming at the back, so we'll actually see the needle come through and it will represent sort of the uh, interior of the animal. The reason we're doing it this way around is because this background is clean and the red juice will probably spray all over it. Then we'll come around and get this angle. We should probably also mention, don't try this at home. This is dangerous. <laughs> oh, I didn't do it hard enough. <laughs> that was pathetic. No, you've got to give it more beans. I'll reload. I see you've put on your little rod extension. I'm trying to get as much power out of it as I can. <laughs> Maybe I've just got really weak lungs. Well, you do have a bit of a cough at the moment, don't you? I do. Maybe I should cough into it and it'll go flying. Oh, that one worked. God, it went straight through. Okay, before we watch that back, let's get a shot of it going in this side. Okay. And then I can cut them together so we, all, we see it all for the first time. But above here, like in this area. Go for it. Oh, it's perfect. Damn. I think that was really good. Bang. Oh, no. <laughs> I got it there, didn't I? It's quite a concentrated stream, actually. Yeah. Isn't it? Quite an abs abstract look. Yeah. Oh, rapid, isn't it? Really is. It proper sticks in there. That is 40 oh, times. It's happening. I really realize we're in slow-mo there. Yeah. 
Jesus, that, that was it. That's this so is, this quick. is 40 times slower than real time, and it, even still, it's like, hello? Yeah, this is from the back. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's just spewing. It's really forceful as well, isn't it? I guess because if uh, the animal is moving or, you know, if it's sort of an active animal, they want to get that injected as quickly as possible so it doesn't have a chance to like knock it off or yeah. do whatever. And also it's, it's just a factor of the fact that it's, it's, it's quite a wide cylinder that contains the liquid being forced through the skinniest needle and the smallest hole. Even mm -hmm. a tiny amount of force would just eject that for miles. That's a good point. Okay, so next I think we should go close up on the back. Maybe try blue? Okay. We'll go for a different colour. This is medicine this time. Medicine, okay. All right, I'll be behind you on this one. Perfect. So what we really want is it to hit around here. Okay. Because I've now lowered the frame rate. I've decreased the width, uh -huh. decreased the height, because, I mean, a lot of the top and bottom of the frame is unused. We're just getting that long projectile like we do with bullets. So we're at 3,000 frames a second now at 720. Around here, a lot shallower. Flip, all right, might take a few goes there. <laughs> To be honest. Oh! <laughs> that, was, that was it! <laughs> you nailed it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You just hear a little like. You can do it from bloody close if you want. Okay. Oh, perfectly oh, it's on in the <gasps> Jeez, did they get me? Oh, the lens. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Quick, wipe, wipe. Need a moist towelette. You're yeah. trying to put a permanent blue filter on the lens. It's my colour. <laughs> I'm being playing some sort of like deadly trumpet. <laughs> Lethal bagpipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> like a bullfrog. I look like a hamster. <laughs> like a pufferfish. Like, like some sort of like chubby hamster. I can think of other situations where you would make that face. Oh, there's a bit of spit coming out of the way. Yeah. And the, the aim, the targeting was supreme. Well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it is a fine focus, isn't it? Yeah, it was probably an inch. Oh, flipping heck. Is now, that how fast it is? Th that's 3,000 frames a second. What? It is rapid. That's we could have so honestly quick. done with the faster camera on this one. So we it is about have it. 150 foot a second then. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So it like chucks out the liquid forwards at first. Yeah. It has a smaller slit to get through and then it's just like tss. Yeah, I think the little, the little pores in it was probably the deceleration. Maybe the liquid slightly rocked back. Because remember the pressure in here, maybe any pull on that draws it back through the needle. Mm. So that any sort of wibblement might pause that for a second. But look how much you nailed that focus. Oh, actually, that was perfect. It was perfect. You can see how quickly it goes blurry. Like it's, what, like a centimeter out and it's already going out of focus? The sort of hole is nearly out of focus. Like the end of the, the, end of the uh, needle is almost out of focus. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it's because it's coming towards the camera. Yeah, it's coming towards the camera. Oh, I see. Now, the thing I've noticed that I found quite interesting, let me just switch this to frame by frame mode. Okay. Now watch. There's some blur there, B. Yeah, at 3,000 frames a second at a 90 degree shutter. Oh, God. See Watch the, the plug. So it hits, starts sliding, but because it's like it bounced rubbery, off. it bounced backwards faster. Oh. So it doesn't just like get pushed and slides. It forcefully bounces back and then the rest of the needle bashes it like a hammer straight back in. Oh, and then it like squishes it, it onto squishes the it, It's just like, what? So it's like... <laughs> oh my god! We only noticed that because we're now at 3,000 instead of 1,000. Ah, right. When you first showed me it in real time, yeah. I saw something was up with that rubber, rubber plug. I wasn't sure what it was. Then you explained it to me by frame by frame, and now I can see it clear as day. Yeah. But I did see something was up with it. I was like, what's <laughs> happened there? It's like... <laughs> yeah. I like that in this shot, behind your blowgun, you can see the bigger blowgun. The actual, like, the back... <laughs> Whoa. You could use that on a dinosaur or something, if you had to like... That's the T-Rex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you have to set it up for ages and then like wait for the T-Rex to come past. We probably could modify that to fire this dart. No, you absolutely could. If you wanted your tranquilizer dart to come out the other side of the animal... 
<laughs> okay, so we now have a nice white balloon with just plain water inside, uncolored water. And this, I guess, will represent some sort of blood system behind the skin. If, if an animal did have a big bulge of blood. Just so if its heart was like on its back. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully the rubber will whip away and we'll be able to see the color. What is it, blue? Yes, blue. Blue injecting into the water before it falls. Okay. So you just have to hit it about here. Okay. Go for it. Oh, God. <laughs> you definitely got it. I did get it, didn't I? <laughs> Flip it. Heck. Will there ever be a time where we don't destroy our small HD monitors? The, have you seen our videos? Oh, God. It's coming off mostly. It's, it's surprising we don't destroy more stuff. It's all stuck in the serial number. <laughs> Never going to be able to register this now. I wonder if there's any frames of water inside the balloon in the air. I wonder how quick the balloon's going to pop compared to the bloody quick. The, yeah. rubber, the rubber will be out of there. Oh, it is. You can see it. It came flying out the side of the balloon. That's wicked. That's it. That's exactly the shot I wanted. Flipping egg. There's oh. some like pure blue drops of water coming down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I really water. nailed the lens there. Water. Oh, look. It's like catching some of the... You see that? The water from the splashback is going through the blue stream and catching it. That's so it. we're painting... Painting the, the background blue, look. We're painting mid-air. Is that a, could that be a video? Where we just throw droplets of water over like... A spurting up blue like one. Like different just... colours, and they'll go through and all become multicoloured droplets. I think so, that'd be wicked. That's one for the future. When we figure that, I'll figure the logistics of that one out. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to try our probe lens. Um, no pressure on this one, you just have to hit it within like half a millimetre. B, you know who you're talking to? Sorry B, I don't even know why I doubt it. Good. Oh, it's not bad though. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad at all. It's pretty good. A lot of negative space, but I mean, we're talking about millimeters here. And the um, liquid is going up as well. Yeah. Into the ceiling. Right? Oh. <laughs> <eek>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's perfect. Oh damn! What a ball. I love making videos like that. What, where you learn something? Yeah, you learn something and the slow-mo just looks really cool, really satisfying. I also liked using the blowgun, to be fair. Yeah. I think I might become a vet and just... All right, I should warn you though, not everything about being a vet involves using a blowgun. In fact, very little, in very specific places, would you actually use the blowgun. Okay, well, I'm going to specify that I only <laughs> want to be a vet if I can use the blowgun, okay? You just get the gorilla. <laughs> All right, someone else, <laughs> someone else deal with that. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Yeah, my job's done. <laughs> Why do we pay that guy? <laughs> I also like how the sort of uh, water comes out of the thing when it's pressurized. Oh, <laughs> well, oh. yeah, it's still pressurized. I forgot. <laughs> so I, thought, I totally forgot I'd done that. Oh, it's all come out. It's got in my eye, man. I've got medicine in my eye. <laughs> Hold on. It's a good look. Totally was not expecting that as well. I forgot I pressurized it. All right, while well, Dan's cleaning himself off, make sure you subscribe, hit the old bell, our favorite bell, and we've got a second channel too. Thanks for watching. Did I get any on me? I don't think I did.